Welcome to ET Studios at Mo Engages Growth Summit in association with ET Brand Equity. Today we have with us Arvind Ayer, who is the head of marketing at Piramal Finance. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, let's start off with integrating technology for insight mining. At Piramal Finance, how are you utilizing emerging technologies to mine deep customer data and extract actionable insights? So it's a very interesting question uh, that you're asking me because our customer segment is typically, uh, you know, the budget customer of Bharat. These are mm -hmm. people who really make the country move. Mm -hmm. uh, so w what I mean by that is uh, a Kirana store, in, let's say in uh, in Mahad, right, or uh, or a fireworks store in Sivakasi, uh, or or maybe somebody who's a sell uh, who's a salaried person with a proprietorship firm in maybe Muzaffarpur. I mean, that's the kind of person we are talking to. They, these are real people of Bharat mm -hmm. uh, who who earn livelihoods uh, and and you know uh, are growing the country and and themselves. Uh, however, when it comes to accessing uh, finance or getting access to financial instruments, um, it becomes really difficult for them because they do not have the sort of paperwork that um, is normally deemed as what let's mm -hmm. say in the banking and in the financial framework mm -hmm. seems like stuff that they would need to provide. So we kind of bridge that. Uh, bridge that right. gap and uh, we, we try to do that at scale so right. so really uh, we want to be the lender who is who's the choice uh, you know for the budget customer mm -hmm. of Bharat who has you know small wallet sizes typically buys a house for around 15 20 30 lakhs you know that's the sort of customer right. we're talking about um, and we want to be able to be the lender for them and and therefore personalizing uh, is super important because there are different cohorts they're different uh, they're different customers of different types from different parts of the country mm -hmm. doing different things, mm -hmm. right? So to be able to, you know, one is uh, have an overall voice that you're able to talk to them uh, about what you can do for them. But other than that, be able to, you know, give really a personalized sense of how you can get them to come on board. Because these are customers who believe they don't uh, get a loan. Unko right. wo bolte hai ki hame loan kaun dega? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so, it, uh, so really we want to break that inertia. Uh -huh. So for that, we need to be able to address every single customer who's out there. Mm -hmm. So personalization is absolutely at uh, at the very core. And, uh, you know, we, we really use a lo lot of tools and technology yeah. to be able to mine that information. Mm -hmm. And uh, within the MarTech stack, you know, having like, let's say things like a campaign management yeah. module or, uh, you know, things that are more customer variables, mm -hmm. uh, behavior oriented uh, mm -hmm. information that we can infuse from various sources mm -hmm. is stuff that we really try and do on a day to day basis. And we're continuously improving that. All right, and when it comes to personalization on scale, right, mm -hmm. we see food delivery apps doing it, OTT platforms doing it. It's interesting how now BFSI sector is also pivoting towards that. Yeah, that's also because, uh, so if you look at our category uh, of lending, it's um, unlike e-commerce, it, it's, it's not a behavior that's going to keep getting them to come back every mm. day. So the frequency is fairly low, right. but, uh, but at the time when there is the need for, for a lending instrument, then there is a lot of transactional anxiety. Okay. But at the times that there isn't, uh, we must figure out a way to engage with the customers. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, really engagement uh, is is the key for uh, for, for being able to uh, at least stay relevant for mm -hmm. uh, for this customer, whether or not they are in a relationship with you. So, uh, and, and it's a very real uh, insight because mm -hmm. today's customers really care about their credit history yes. and their credit worth. And, you know, just overall, they know their money. It's mm. just about, you know, they really need information and access to how do they really uh, you know, navigate this path. And being able to give that to them in, in forms that they're very familiar with, mm. which is very dominant of their behavior, right? So whether it's social or it's video or, you know, other ways in which they're consuming content yeah. today, if we're able to permeate and make ourselves relevant in those forms, then I'm saying personalization and doing that in the context of what they want. Uh, becomes becomes uh, scalable to do. Absolutely, and I'm sure that has an impact on your CLV as well. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. And, and NPS as well. So Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, now it's time for a fun segment. We want to do sure. a rapid fire with you. All right. All right, so let's go off with the first question. If you had a magic wand and could erase one marketing challenge in 2024, which one would that be? Oh, I would try and get all, anything that I can find on consumer behavior uh, in an analytics shape where I can pretty much plug and play into our uh, into our ecosystem and and let it be available you want all data to be scalable <laughs> in that case i understood all right gen ai and banking uh, marcoms yay or nay 
Uh, I think a big yes, we need to figure how, how you can use it. I think it just applies across. I think just being able to use the power of it is, is super important. We do a lot, of, we do a lot with it today, uh, but, but really we're trying to push the envelope. It's, it's a great capability, uh, irrespective of you know, whatever people say, hallucination, et cetera. Mm. But if you figure out a way to kind of use- Put those checks in place. Put yeah. those checks in place and have a governance mechanism, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you, can do, you can do stuff, at least with the text-based stuff. Yeah, right? you can do yeah. a lot more yeah. in like seconds now. Yeah. Yeah. What's the most important point marketers in FinServe don't understand about customer engagement? I wouldn't say don't understand. I think uh, having deeper empathy uh, and really talking to the customer, just like how I'm having a conversation with you, right? So whether the customer comes through to us via a digital mm -hmm. way or you know is walking into uh, a branch, mm -hmm. really wouldn't matter. I mean, striking up that conversation and really understanding that person and the ability to turn that into stories uh, can go a long way for a lot of people. Yeah, and that way you kind of take charge of the narrative as yeah, well. Yeah. Now rank these in the order of importance, right message, right timing, right channel. Right message, right timing, right channel. Right message uh, would be definitely first. Uh, and you said, sorry. Right timing, right channel. Right channel, right timing. All right. And if you could pick one superpower to have as a marketer, which one would that be? I don't know, maybe the ability to have millions of conversations with people okay so like you know I'd, I'd love to know every single customer of mine mm -hmm. and know what they do and you know what their deliberations are right. and what they're aspiring for if uh -huh. i could have that one superpower then it's it's like bruce almighty you know the it. way like god he could he could pretty much listen yeah. to everybody so that i mean you know then i'm living your dream because i have hundreds of conversations many of them very interesting such as this one thank you so much for your time it no. was an absolute pleasure absolutely for me also thank you so very much for having me thank you thank you Thank you.